Do, 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 do. Mm. It's a bit grim. It's very grim. Look away if you are squeamish. Also, can we just talk about how greasy my hair is right now? <laughs> my forehead looks like a five head. GHD. Stunning tool. I look like I have a mullet. It is natural curl time. Heat protection is essential. Gives it a little bit of a curl. And some people may be like, why have you dipped your head in a deep fat fryer? You look so greasy. But I like it. I wish I was an organised person, but I just, I'm not. I don't know if I ever will be. Hello team, how are we doing? It has been a while since I've been on YouTube. I've had a little bit of a hiatus because work has taken over. In the last month alone, I've held an alcohol-free day festival at the Ministry of Sound with my friend Millie. I've launched a new brand, which I will divulge in other future videos. And that is not what today's video is about, but I thought I would explain why I've kind of been a bit MIA on YouTube. So I hope everyone is well. Please update me on how your month has been. What have you been up to? How are you doing? Please let me know in the comments below. Today's video is probably my most requested video ever which I'm really excited to share with you guys and I really hope you enjoy it. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph if you're new here. So today's video is a little bit different to some of my weekly vlogs. Um, I will be talking you through my hair journey, how I've got my hair to be healthier and thicker and longer over the last few years. I will be sharing many tips around products that I use, things that I ask for in the hairdressers and just talking you through kind of my weekly or monthly routine. I take you with me to get my hair cut, I talk you through some of my favourite brands that I've been using for a really long time and show you some different methods that have helped me get thicker longer hair so I talk you through kind of blow dried hair natural hair masks all of that stuff so I really hope you enjoy this video and if you do give it a cheeky thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe right I feel like I'm always at this bloody desk but it's where I live these days anyway I just wanted to speak about something before I start promoting products or telling you what to put on your hair I think this is so vital in anyone's journey and it's something that I've definitely gone through personally so Obviously, um, some of the images that you would have seen in the thumbnail and stuff are from when I had an eating disorder. And when you are malnourished and when you're not feeding your body with enough food, things like your hair, your skin, your nails, they're all going to slip in terms of their health. Um, because your body is the most incredible, unbelievable machine. It's so clever and it's always going to prioritise your vital organs first, right? So if you're feeding your body, your food primarily is going to go to the running of your body so your heart your lungs your digest your digestive system all of these things so if you're not eating enough there is no goodness no nutrition left for things like your hair your skin and your nails so one of the most vital parts in my journey is actually eating enough to feed those parts of my body that weren't getting the nutrition before. I don't know if I've explained that in an articulate way and if it is something that you would like to see in terms of what I eat for my hair. I know that sounds ridiculous. On the outside, it sounds ridiculous. It, what, what do you mean? What do you eat for your hair? <laughs> um, but in terms of supplementing, yeah, it's great. And there's, there's loads of things you can do to aid your hair, skin and nails. But I do believe the fundamentals comes from your diet. And that is something that I have prioritised throughout the last few years. And I do think that since I've been eating enough food, enough of the right things, Things, a range of different fruits and vegetables that are extremely biodiverse I have noticed a huge change in my hair skin and nails as a general obviously in my overall health my alertness all of these things so yeah I just feel like I can't just be there and be like oh use Olaplex or use this hair mask because if you're still not fueling yourself in the right way it's never gonna help so yeah I just wanted to preface the video with that information before we continue and like I said just leave me a comment if that's something that you would want to see peace Hello my darlings, how are we doing? I just went to film this and I was looking absolutely grim. Usually I'd do my hair first, then my makeup, then go out, but we're doing it the other way around today because I looked like death. Um, still do actually, but we move. Anyway, I just wanted to show you a really quickly, no, I wanted to show you a really quick way to treat your hair in a way that is also socially acceptable to go out of the house. So this is something that I've done for the last couple of years in terms of treatments. Now I've got two treatments that I try to do a week. One is a replenishing mask that either hydrates or is good for hair growth. So like an Olaplex, I mean I'll introduce you to those later, but like an Olaplex or a moisturizing mask. Um, and then the other one, if I'm going natural hair, I always put in an oil the night before. It just helps the curls, the natural curls go a little bit better. And it's something that really hydrates it the night before. This is something that I would do before my natural curly hair. These products, I'm not affiliated with any of these brands. There are other ones that work that I'll let you know of. One that I'll always put in my root is the Grow Gorgeous Intense. Um, so this is supposed to be really good for hair 
growth, for thickening, for bald patches, all of that kind of stuff. Also, can we just talk about how greasy my hair is right now? <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll apply the Grow Gorgeous Intense to all of my root and I'll give it like a nice deep massage. For this, you can also use things like castor oil or TikTok is going mad for rosemary oil. I haven't tried that myself, but you're supposed to see results with it. And then throughout the rest of my hair, this has been a godsend recently for my natural curls and that is the Fushi Really Good Hair Oil. So I'm just gonna put that through all of the ends and then literally slick it back in a bun. I won't show you the process because it's gonna take long. She's quite thick these days, so I'm gonna section it off, brush it through, put in all of the oil necessary, and then slick it back into a nice bun, and I'll show you it when it's finished. And then my darlings, that is literally it. I just slick it back. I mean, some people may be like, why have you dipped your head in a deep fat fryer? You look so greasy, but I like it. I've, it's clean, you would never know I've got a hair mask in it. Lewis calls me egg. Sophia Ritchie is definitely pulling off this look at the moment, so I'm just trying to channel my inner Sophia. Anyway, so I've got all of the oil in. My forehead looks like a five head, just because of some of the little flyaways and like little frizzy bits. I use the Cantu Natural Hair Edge Gel, and this is really good just to slick it all back. So like, I always get, can you see this little guy? I always like to glue him down um, and literally just go around the edges of my hair. You can do this with oil, but sometimes that just makes it stick up a little bit more. Does anyone remember the film Little Rascals with Alfalfa where he just had like that one piece of hair that would stick up? Sometimes I get one of those. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna slick back all of my edges like so. And one thing I will say is this isn't something that I like to do all the time, like a slick back bun. Sometimes ripping your hair back can be a little bit hazardous to your hair growth um, if you're slicking it back too much. So if I wasn't going out tonight, I would have just put that hair oil in and maybe put it in like a turban or like kind of let it hang a little bit with a towel around my shoulders because I don't like to slick my hair back too much. Literally, she says that she's like... <laughs> But I think after years of doing ballet at dance college and dance school, like it just took its toll on my hair. And I don't think pulling it back too often is very good. However, if you're treating it like this in a lovely hair mask, it's not the end of the world, you know? So I also need to get my underneaths as well. And then, yeah, so I'm gonna head out for dinner tonight. I will then sleep with this oil in my hair. And then when I wash it out tomorrow, I'll show you the products that I use to make sure that it's nice and clean and doesn't stay too greasy. And also what brings back or what I'm trying at the moment to bring back my natural curls. Like I said, um, I haven't filmed the intro to this yet, but I'm hopefully gonna say, um, all of the products that I'm using at the moment are kind of, testing things out, seeing what works for my hair. I'm still very much on my hair growth journey. It's only been a kind of recent transformation, so I'm still exploring things. So also, as well as me sharing recommendations, fill the comments if you've got a product that is like your hero product. I feel like everyone watching this video wants to read them as well, so you wouldn't just be recommending them to me, you'd be recommending them to other people that are on this journey too. So yeah, me and my five head are gonna go for dinner and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hello my darlings, it is natural curl time and I'm gonna talk you through my curl routine. I'm gonna be honest, it's still very much a journey. I'm trying to get my curl pattern back after years of just heat, 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 heat on my hair. So I'm trying to bring back my natural curl, embracing it a little bit more. I don't feel 100% confident with my natural hair. I definitely feel more confident when it's blow dried. So I'm trying to change that. I'm gonna introduce you to some of the products that I've been trying. Um, like I said, it's a journey. This may grow and evolve. So I'll do an updated routine if and when I find something that works better. Um, it's a lot of trial and error. It also doesn't help that my hair is in desperate need of a trim. So when hair is damaged, um, it just doesn't hold its curl as well. So I'm going for a trim next week and I'm hoping that will make a difference. And also it's just very dry and ratty and just it needs a tidy up and I'm hoping that also when it's not so like dead and heavy it might curl a little bit better so we'll see how it goes. I was actually sent some products by Buclem a couple of months ago. They basically saw on my stories that I was saying I want to try and get my natural curl pattern back and they were very generous and sent me loads of tips and videos and things like that including this microfiber hair towel. There's so many things I didn't know so just using a normal towel on natural hair apparently can make it go even more frizzy whereas something like this will stop that i don't know how and also using a shampoo like a normal shampoo on curly hair can wash out all of the natural oils which would give it a curl so they actually sent me one of their co-washes so it's called a that's the conditioner it's called a hydrating hair cleanser which is like a co-wash um, and i just mix in some of ooh, some of these protein booster drops as well so i wash my hair with that, like I said, I have the good hair oil in the night before and then rinse out with the co-wash with some protein drops in. And then I use the curl conditioner to 
really run it through all of my hair and then I brush my hair in the shower whilst it's still wet with all of the conditioner in it. I'll introduce you to my different hair brushes later. And then they did send me some of their Super Hold Styler and their Curl Cream, which I loved, but because my curls aren't super ringlety, sometimes this is a little bit heavy for them. At the moment, they're more like beach waves. We're trying to get a curl back, but at the moment we've got to embrace the waves. So um, I probably will use some of the Curl Cream, but how they advise to use it is basically applying it to soaking wet hair. Um, doing something which I can't remember what it's called oh, I can't remember what it's called um, where you tip your head over and you like scrunch it and then you wrap it up in the towel and you leave it to dry for a bit but I'm actually going to show you a different method that I've used for many years it's hit and miss I also feel like my curls are different at different times of my cycle as well I am rambling but I'm going to just introduce you to what I do so first of all I've had this wrapped up in a towel for about five minutes and then I just use this towel to scrunch it to give it a little bit of curl I'm actually going to use the Philip Kingsley Damage Defence um, Leave-In Conditioner. I feel like because my hair is so dry at the moment and it's just a little bit dead, I'm just really trying to lock in a lot of that hydration. I'm talking as if I know what I'm talking about, but I honestly don't. It's literally try and error. So any tips, let your girl know. So I've put in some of that. It smells beautiful. And then I'll just scrunch that in. I am going to use some of the curl cleanser, but I'm also going to use some of this Maui Curl Quench um, Curl Smoothie Coconut Oil Mask. This smells amazing. Their shampoo and conditioner range is also really lovely. And I'm going to use this as a bit of a curl cream that's going to be hydrating as well. So I'm going to have a little play around now, like I said, just scrunching it in, and then I will show you the results at the end. Also, if there's any stubborn bits of like frizzy straight sections let me see if i can find some because i'm sure there will be i sometimes just grab the end of my comb like my tooth comb and wind it round and just hold it there for a little bit and then scrunch in a bit of product so just kind of teasing those curls to come back a little bit if they're not usually there i don't know if you can see that but gives it a little bit of a curl i'll show you the finished result a little bit later so the hair has dried slightly because my bangs are so outgrown and just a thick amount of bangage <laughs> what would you right, call we it we need to pay now okay very good. but i've let my hair dry i mean the bangs at the front they're very thick and like short and stubby at the moment so i look like i have a mullet the curls have come back a little bit the front bits of my hair really pissed me off so i've bought some of these clips which i will introduce you to later i'll leave a link in the bio as well these little claw clips they're so good so that you don't have to scrape your hair back you can just pinch and clip and it's not too heavy on the old scalp and then i also there's some serum from um well some kind of hair treatment from a brand called Cantu um, and I've just put it in one of these little travel bottles and you just spray it on your hand and it's called comeback curl so if any of my hair goes frizzy later today I'll just in the bathroom grab some water put it through my hair and then add some of this spray as well and then we'll be good to go so that's the natural hair routine if you have any tips or tricks please let me know we're gonna go and enjoy our day now see you in a bit Right, my darlings, please excuse the state of me. Basically, I know that I'm going to curl my hair tomorrow. So what I've done is I've washed my hair now. This is literally like pre-planning time saving. So what I'd usually do, if I had like a big night out, I would wash my hair, I would dry it with my Dyson Airwrap and then go over it with a curler just to really lock in the curl because I feel like the Dyson Airwrap doesn't really last very long on my hair, but it's a great way to dry it quickly. However, I know that I need to curl it tomorrow and I'm going to be very time poor tomorrow and that is a lengthy ass process. It takes a while. It will last for a few days afterwards, but it takes a very long time. So I thought to be clever and time savvy, I would prep my hair for it, leave it to dry naturally and then curl it tomorrow when I just need to literally get up and go. So I've washed my hair. I use the Olaplex um, shampoo and conditioner, which I will link below. It's really nice. Like if I'm doing a blow dry look, I want my hair to be completely clean, no natural oils in it. So it really, really thoroughly cleans it a bit of conditioner through the ends, brush it through in the shower, and then really rinse it out. My brushes need a clean as well, so I'm actually gonna show you how I do that later in this video as well. Just because when my brushes are clean, my hair stays cleaner for longer, which means I have to wash it less, it's less faff, it's better for my hair, and all of these wonderful benefits. So I'm gonna brush through my hair now, and then I will show you the heat protection I use and the prepping sprays that I use. Honestly, my brushes are horrendous. They're so dirty, which is actually criminal that I'm using them to brush right now, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Do you know what I mean? This is not a flattering angle. 
I have used the Moroccan Oil Heat Protection Spray. Heat protection is essential, which I really like, and it protects to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and 230 degrees Celsius. And then I also love this Iron Guard by Revlon. So this is actually something that my hairdresser recommended, which is a protective balm, which I absolutely love. Because this is a cream rather than a spray, you can kind of dictate where it goes. So I run it through this side, going through the bangs, and then the same the other side, run it through. Obviously make sure you have clean hands but you can really move it through your hair and then just to be double triple safe i'm just going to give a little spritz of that moroccan oil heat protection as well which smells divine fab and then because i know that i want my hair to be nice and curly and bouncy and last for a few days i'm going to use the color wow dream coat for curly hair which is lovely miracle moisture mist which i love i will link all of these products below as well it's not i'm now going to go back to what i was doing leave it to air dry and then i will show you how i prep and style it tomorrow peace right my darlings it's time to curl my hair i thought i'd show you my way of giving myself like a curly blow dry that is without a hair dryer and when you are short on time so like i said yesterday i prepped my hair with all of the sprays and then i let it just dry naturally hence why i look like hagrid or hermione granger in the first film i'm in a hurry can you tell chaos i wish i was an organized person but i just i'm not i don't know if i ever will be i will still try i'll still wake up every day and try and be an organized person and then maybe one day i will be but my hack for this anyway I'm rambling on now my hack for this ghd stunning tool i just usually straighten the top bit to get rid of the frizz because there's usually a lot of it and then i kind of dabble between ghd and babyliss when it comes to babyliss babyliss i always get it wrong when it comes to curling and i prefer a tong one of these i feel like you get heat from both directions you know so i just wrap it around don't know if you can see that drop the tong on drag it out a bit and roll it up and then i curl all my hair outwards wrapping it around holding it for a few seconds and then letting it go i will do that all over my hair in sections it's so much easier to do in sections and then i'll check in with you before i finish styling the bangs and apply any serums i'm hoping this should take no longer than 20 minutes i hope it doesn't take longer than 20 minutes because 20 minutes is all i have perfect little curls we love to see it right the hair is being curled it's not my best work i'll be honest but the next tool i'm gonna <laughs> do, 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 do. the next tool i'm gonna use is this one from ghd it's a curling brush that is full of my hair that's grim, ignore that. But basically it's just like a round brush that's heated. Again, it's amazing. I mean, I would love to be sponsored by GHD because we love the tools. Um, I also didn't know that GHD stood for good hair day, which I think is brilliant. For the bangs, these are no longer bangs. This is like a fully fledged, fully grown hair at this point, it needs a trim. Um, usually I would wet it and I would blow dry it with a round brush and all of these lovely things but we ain't got the time. Don't do it how I'm doing it because you will burn yourself. I'm not doing this very well. But basically, I roll it forwards, leave it for a bit, roll it back, roll it diagonally, and they usually hang in the right place. I hope and I pray. We love the volume. We want to see the volume. This is just the blind leading the blind at this point, really, isn't it? I love how I've always said don't apply too much heat to your hair, but then I've just spent the last 20 minutes sizzling it. <gasps> it's worked! Kind of. Absolutely not. Okay, really good. It's giving what it's giving at this point. But basically what I do then is I get a hairbrush. When I spray my hairbrush with hairspray. Just any hairspray that's on sale, to be honest. Um, and then I brush it through. And then that gives that kind of brushed out loose wave kind of feel. Um, we don't want tight, tight ringlets today. Always brush the bangs backwards so that they fall nicely. I will just apply a serum. How's she looking? Do you see what I'm going for? Like big, voluminous, loose curls. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna go in with this Revlon. Again, this is what my hairdresser recommended. You'll meet him later in this vlog, we love Danilo. This little serum, a couple pumps of that, run it through the ends just so she's not frizzy lizzy. Um, other than that, that's kind of all the tips I have for a quick curly blow dry. Like that was literally using straighteners and curlers and i love my dyson air wrap don't get me wrong but i used to have a friend that worked at dyson so she got it quite cheap for me i understand they're ridiculously expensive so if you can do any hacks with a hair curler 
and a straightener, I'm all for that. The front of my hair is not plain ball, not a fan of it. So I'm just gonna take one of these clips, which I'll introduce you more to later because I use them all the time. And I'm just gonna pinch it at the top so they get used to kind of be pinned back. And then I'll just go over them before I go out later. And if I have time, which I probably won't, I will show you the finished look because this is not the finished look. It's giving quiff. Did anyone used to do this? Like, this is how I would go to a school disco, but like tight ringlets. It'd be like tight, tight, tight ringlets and then a quiff. And I'd be like dancing to Kylie Minogue. I am showing my age. Hello, I feel like this I feel like this entire video is just me applying different masks to my hair, but I do hope it's helpful. Um, one of the things that definitely, definitely helped with um, the texture and health of my hair um, is the Olaplex range. So in lockdown, every week I would do one mask a week and I would start with prepping my hair with the number zero and then I'd apply the number three all over my hair and leave it for a few hours um, without without a doubt once a week and I noticed such a huge difference just in terms of thickness growth how healthy it felt and obviously in lockdown none of us were getting haircuts so it just it was it was amazing basically and then shortly after lockdown they released the number eight bond intense um, moisture mask so I then started to alternate um, just as we came out of lockdown after doing one mask a week for God, it must have been about a year. Um, I would then alternate between one Saturday I'd do zero and three, and then one Saturday I'd do the eight and I'd alternate between the two. So I had the fitness bond repair growth and then the moisture repair the week after and carried on kind of going one and the other, one and the other. Today, I have actually run out of the number three. I am going to use the number eight and just put it all through my hair, leave it for a little while and then wash it off later this evening. Oh, if... If you can't be asked, or you do not want to get in the shower, wet your hair, come out, put in a mask and then wash it off later, I use one of these. Um, I fill it with water, spray it all over my hair to wet the hair, um, put the mask in, leave the mask in, and then when I shower of an evening or a morning or whatever I decide to shower, I will then wash out the mask using the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. I am also getting a haircut tomorrow, which I'm going to take you with me on. I'll introduce you to my hairdresser, Danilo, who's been doing my hair since I was, gosh, 20. He did my hair for my 21st birthday. And he's just amazing, and he's really looking after my hair at the moment every kind of three to six months, depending on how often I want to go for a trim and a tidy up. I haven't had a haircut since the beginning of this year, and Lord, do I need it. So I will bring you with me tomorrow, introduce you to him, and kind of talk you through what I ask for at the hairdressers whenever I go. See you later. finished results let me try and move back a bit so you can see it all um i will also talk you through what i asked for oh i just love it in there it's so lovely and he does such an amazing job so he's given me some curtain bangs and we've retrimmed those in so i basically just asked for a complete tidy up it was getting ratty it was down to like here so we've had two inches off the ends. I've asked for some more layers around my face and around the back so kind of shorter layers around my face and then some around my back as well which you can see here, hopefully. So some layers through the back. I just asked for him to tidy up the bangs. So there's the little bits at the front that have just been like thinned out at the ends, just so it's not like a full on block fringe. But I'm really happy with it. And then I always get a curly bouncy blow dry. And I sometimes feel like the second day the hair looks better when it's had time to like settle and stuff. I absolutely love it. And then he just, just runs some of, some of the Revlon serum that I posted about earlier in this video um, through the ends as well. And I think now because some of the weight's been taken out and because it's a lot healthier when I leave it natural, when I curl it, it will hold the curl better. I'm excited to try and do it natural and see if the curl pattern comes back even better now the hair is healthy. I will say as well, this is my natural colour. I sometimes get asked what colour I dye it. However, I am thinking about getting some kind of like balayage to brighten it up a bit. Not sure when I'll be brave enough to get that done. Anyway, so I will check in with you guys later. I'm actually going to clean my hairbrushes. So I will talk you through that process a little bit later.
Hello, so the last thing I'm going to talk you through is the cleaning of my hairbrushes. Now I know this doesn't sound like a lot, but when I use a lot of product in my hair and I use hairbrushes and my products and my hair's greasy, it all collects in the hairbrush. So I've got a few on the go at the moment. I have, it's a bit extreme, but I have a hairbrush that I use in the shower for when I've got conditioner in. I have a hairbrush that I use on wet hair, a hairbrush that I use on dry hair, a hairbrush that I use hairspray on and then a hairbrush that I use hair masks on. And I try to remember which ones are which, just so it doesn't, if I've just brushed through a hair mask, I don't, then don't dr brush through my hair when it's clean and fresh and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you how I clean the brushes, talk you through that. I do try and do this, I was gonna say I try and do this every couple of weeks, which is an absolute lie. I don't, there is one hairbrush in particular, it's so gross, I'll actually show you it. It's actually embarrassing that I haven't done in a couple of months and my hair is starting to get greasy quicker than usual and I genuinely think it's down to the hairbrushes. So let me show you this one hairbrush, it's embarrassing. Don't judge me, but look at it. Can you see that? All the hair is collecting, all the product is collecting, it's actually disgusting. That is vile, so we're gonna get rid of all of that. I'm gonna show you the tools that I use to clean the hairbrushes. Mm -hmm. It's a bit grim. It's very grim. Look away if you are squeamish. Right, so I start with this little tool that I ordered on Amazon. I'll link it all below. But basically, you use it to get the bulk of the hair out of the brush. As you can see, this brush is so grim. I'm actually so embarrassed. But then you basically just yank all the hair off. And then I get an old toothbrush that I don't use anymore. And then I just get a shampoo. And I start to scrub away at the brush. Now, this removes all of the product from the base of the brush. And loads of other hairs will come up with that. Because I've used so much hairspray on this brush that it's just all glued to the bottom. So then I go in with another tool that's in the same Amazon set and I just start to pull away at the hair that's really well and truly stuck to the bottom of the brush and then I just do this a few times until the brush is completely clean and I do that on all of my brushes and that's it so that's what I do to clean my hair brushes I will leave them to dry naturally overnight and then when I brush my hair no product no grease no oil is going into my clean luscious locks so I hope that's been helpful I also change my pillowcase regularly so what I try and do is whenever I do my hair mask night and if I sleep in my hair mask which you're not really supposed to do but sometimes needs must um, um, I usually align washing my pillowcase with the day after that. So I've slept with it, the hair mask is on it, and then I wash my pillowcase the next day. And washing your pillowcase once a week, definite. I mean, you should do it anyway, guys. Wash your bedding every week. There was like a survey that said some people leave it three or four weeks. It's a lot. Um, so yeah, obviously, when you wash your bedding anyway, it is good to make sure that you just give your pillowcase a thorough clean to make sure that you're not transferring any oils etc into your clean hair well that is the end of the video i hope you have found it helpful like i said at the beginning there is so much more that i could unpack with a hair journey and document more things and more products that i'm trying if you do have any recommendations or things that have worked for you i feel like this video is what people are going to be looking for if they are in need of help and assistance so fill the comments up with any recommendations because that will be helpful for everyone too if you did enjoy it leave me a little thumbs up and a comment and i will get back to you as soon as i can i love hearing from you guys in the comments so please let me know how you are and I will speak to you very very soon so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and I will be back next week with another video lots of love